Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And this particular um, uh, video came out a few days ago there where the foreign ministers uh, of both Iran and Syria were meeting. And this is where the threat comes there against Netanyahu to be his last days. I want to play this clip here for you. تعیین کننده روز پایان نتانیاهو و پایان وضعیت فعلی در منطقه خواهد بود. تعاملات قزه و کرانه هیچ راه حلی جز مسیر سیاسی ندارد. What's interesting about this is although Iran has all these big threatening words and uh, meeting there in Syria, uh, threatening Netanyahu, etc., uh, I had reached out to one of my contacts in the Middle East there, specifically uh, on the Arabic side, and he, he said to me, he says, do you remember when Israel used to attack Iranian bases on, on uh, Syria? And I used to tell you, Iran will never retaliate. Foreign policies are always the continuation of a government's domestic policies. Uh, the leaders of Iran are nothing but a bunch of cowards who try to use their revolutionary mass to cover their incompetency, he said. The day they participate in a war with Israel would be the day they have lost all their hope to keep the power and choose to go down in a blaze of glory. Syria govern, uh, Syrian government is not in any shape to participate in a war. For both governments, this is all show in order to keep their ever-declining support base involved and hopeful. Uh, so I thanked him for that, and he continued on, and he said to me, uh, especially with Soleimani's death, this uh, the guy he chose to replace him before he got killed, he made sure this one-man show ends. So his name as the greatest warrior of the revolution remains intact. The leader of the Goads Corps is always in his office in Tehran. In other words, that guy just never goes out to, to be a real warrior like that of Soleimani. He said, he, he said they do not even allow the Lebanese Hezbollah to engage with Israel seriously. You know, and that's something that I had noticed myself is that even though Israel has relentlessly bombed and killed the Palestinian people, not just in Gaza, where more than 10,000 children have been killed in what Israel clearly is retaliating for the deaths of the Jewish people on October the 7th. But Lebanon, or not Lebanon, I'm sorry, but uh, excuse me, the West Bank as well. There are scores, hundreds of Palestinians that have been killed or wounded in the continuing raids that are going on there. And it's basically like Israel is just ridding themselves of Palestinians anywhere they are inside the country, inside the, the uh, Israel proper borders. And yet no Arab state dares even to do anything. I find it very fascinating. To me, it tells you who really controls the world. But why is it? Why is it that everybody remains like a bunch of lame ducks in a pond? I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Oh, and by the way, too, real quick before closing, uh, we did load over a couple of testimonies over there on... Uh, on Patreon that you may find very interesting. And those are actually going to go more in line with the teaching that I'm working on as well. Uh, still been working on, been working on the last couple of days, looking for some little missing links there, but uh, something I think you're going to find very interesting once I get that put together. So hopefully tomorrow I'll finally finish that. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live.